yes if you see that watermelon take it eat it because you are doing your body a favor like yeah you are doing your body a favor guys let's take care of ourselves mm -hmm. so that's the only thing that we have and we need to take care of them because if we don't take care of them guys we can't do what we are supposed to do we can't function properly we can't do our hobbies we can't do our passion our passionate i mean our um, jobs that we love so much we can't do them because if your body is weak where will you get that energy how will you work so you need to like hello everybody hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel this is lulu's food channel you're welcome wash guidance my senpom kwai karibu yes karibu guys welcome today i'm a bit excited i don't know why but i'm kind of excited mm, maybe it's because of the topic that I'm, t I'm about to talk about yeah so today i wanted to talk about how we can prepare our body in defense of this trending disease which is everywhere which is in almost all the countries coronavirus yes guys coronavirus is real it's it has affected so many people and really need to take precautions like serious precautions because it's everywhere here in Turkey we have or let me say they have recorded about six cases of coronavirus no death yet thank god um in europe in china it's worse guys so i thought maybe with the little knowledge that i have i should share with you guys how we can prepare ourselves for coronavirus like how we can make our body because our body is our first mechanism to help us like our body defends itself with every foreign invaders that attack it so we need to um we need to nourish it in the right way with the right foods with the right um nutrients that will help it to fight the diseases that may attack it so yes how do we boost our immune system First of all, you might ask Ruth, what is the immune system? Me, I don't know what the immune system is. The immune system is um, the body's mechanism which helps to fight uh, foreign invaders, like I earlier said. These foreign invaders can be bacteria, can be viruses, or anything, parasites whatsoever. And how does our body clear those things away? Our body has white blood cells. These white blood cells, they, they are the ones that um, fight the foreign invaders, which fight the viruses or the bacteria. And uh, for example, let me say flu, flu, which is a common cold. Yeah, this cold, it affects us every winter. But how do we get cured? How does that happen? It's because our body has got the defense system which clears these um, viruses away. It means that we already prepared it, we've you know, nourished it in a way that it was ready to clear out that virus once it had entered. So yeah, that's how they make the immune system kind of works, a little bit explanation. <laughs> yeah, so to talk about the foods that can help our, can help our body to be boosted. And to begin with, citrus fruits. Citrus fruits, these include um, lemon, oranges, and um, grapefruit. These fruits, they contain high vitamin C and antioxidant. 
they also um, help in fighting inflammation then they also promote your immunity um, immunity to work in a proper way the second food I'll talk about is by the way um, how you might ask like Ruth how do I do I eat the lemon every day or how do I take the lemon for example because yeah I understand I can eat oranges I can eat grapefruit but lemon ish I know that thing is so I mean sour and everything how do I eat it for lemon guys you just need to put it in your water you're drinking water like every day for example I'll show you my water this is my water as you can see there's a slice of lemon and some mint I drink my water with lemon early in the morning when I wake up and before I go to bed during the day also you drink your water with lemon it really helps like it helps in so many ways you can do the same guys just put your lemon your slice of lemon in your water and drink it drink it to your body a favor nourish it the way it's supposed to be nourished mm -hmm. uh, the second food I'll talk about is veggies veggies like spinach broccoli these guys they are really easy to cook you don't need to stretch so much about them because these they contain vitamins and their vitamins they are water soluble vitamins which what do i mean water soluble vitamins it means that when you overcook them they are easily denatured so when you overcook broccoli when you overcook uh, spinach you might lose all the nutrients so what you need to do sometimes for broccoli you can just steam it and then you kind of roast it a little bit and add some seasoning and so on then for spinach you just boil it a little bit then you for example you can also make your gravy you put your tomatoes whatsoever other vegetables then you add your spinach on top of that just maybe when you cover it wait for maybe two minutes for three minutes for it just to kind of shrink a little bit yeah like to shrink a little bit then it will be good to be eaten yeah um the other food it's garlic yes garlic 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 you can eat garlic um because garlic it's very high in minerals and it has a compound called allicin this compound is very uh, good it helps in boosting our white blood cells our white blood cells like i earlier mentioned they help in fighting the foreign materials in our body so yeah you need to take lots of garlic you can make garlic your daily food ingredients put it in your sauces put it in your whatever that you're cooking just make sure that you add some garlic because garlic is really really good yeah and then the other food i'll talk about is turmeric yes turmeric turmeric it's a very nice uh sauce i mean spicy everybody likes turmeric who doesn't like turmeric i do like turmeric Turmeric contains a compound called uh, curcumin. Curcumin. I guess that's how you pronounce it right. Um, this compound, it's the one that gives the color to turmeric, the yellow vibrant color of turmeric. It's because of this compound and it's high in um, nutrients and it boosts the immune system uh, and help it to produce many antibodies that respond to uh, foreign invaders in our body yeah so make turmeric one of your daily um, your daily ingredients to your food um, how do I add turmeric you can add turmeric to your food you can make also turmeric tea one day I'll make a video on how to make turmeric tea and sometimes you can just put it in your water warm water and drink it sometimes you can add it to your yogurt and eat it yeah turmeric is very good guys make use of it if you have it everywhere just make use of that nutrient that spicy consume it 
as frequent as you can please we have our bodies that's the only thing that we have and we need to take care of them because if we don't take care of them guys we can't do what we are supposed to do we can't function properly we can't do our hobbies we can't do our passion our passionate i mean our um, jobs that we love so much we can't do them because if your body is weak where will you get that energy how will you work so you need to like nourish it properly guys let's take care of our bodies yeah and the other food that you can consider eating it's ginger yes ginger is very good for clearing out cords for example when i'm sick i take ginger lemon and honey i like grind the ginger i add honey i add um, a bit of lemon water and then i eat that like if i have a sore throat or whatsoever by tomorrow when i wake up after eating that I, my throat is just cleared like i'm good so guys ginger is also very nutrition uh, rich in nutrients very very beneficial it really helps in boosting our immune system we need to consume it very much also we really need to do so you can also just like cut some slice and put in your tea um you can also add it to your food like you can make it as a spicy also you can add it to your food ginger is very good yeah what about um what other foods can i you might be asking ruth what other foods apart from these ones what if i don't like ginger what if i don't like turmeric what else can i eat for my uh for my can for my fellow countrymen out there in zambia our sweet potatoes yes guys sweet potatoes it's unfortunate that here in turkey i can't eat sweet potatoes they are not sweet potatoes yolk yolk so you guys with sweet potatoes back home make use of them sweet potatoes are very good also they are high in fibers um they are high in energy carbohydrates they're also high in um what's this they're also high in producing white blood cells yeah they help in producing white blood cells so you need to consume um what was the thing you need to consume sweet potatoes yes guys you need to consume them they're very good um in replacement of what um in replacement of sweet potatoes what else can i add i can add um carrots which are high in vitamin a they are also high in beta carotene the same as sweet potatoes these uh, nutrients they are very good in boosting our health uh, our immune system they help it to function properly and so why not take them as regularly as you can take them as much as you can guys if you don't want to be sick if you hate being sick try to consider these foods make sure you eat them as much as you can yeah what other food can we eat um we can eat um not eat but we can drink this time let's talk about drinking green tea yes green tea guys green tea is very rich in antioxidants antioxidants they help in um feeling in creating out the free radicals in our body so we need to so we've drunk our green tea yes after drinking our green tea what else can we add we can also add our watermelons watermelons contain loads of vitamins vitamin a vitamin b vitamin c all these new vitamins are in the watermelon and it also contains a uh, mineral such as potassium which help in uh, proper immune function so yes if you see that watermelon take it eat it because you are doing your body a favor like yeah you are doing your body a favor guys let's take care of ourselves mm -hmm. uh, last but not the least you can also try to take chicken soup yes chicken soup chicken soup is rich in nutrients as well it's rich in proteins and so on consider taking um chicken soup which is very 
good you can make chicken soup by uh, getting your chicken breast you cut it into cubes or yeah cubes then you boil it you add your seasoning let's say you add your salt you add your garlic yes garlic you add your ginger a little bit you add also let me say turmeric you see you have ginger in there you have uh, turmeric in there you also have your chicken more nutrients doing your body a good favor yeah so guys yeah let's take care of our bodies and make sure that we are in good healthy because we need to be uh, in good uh, standards for us to do what we love to do so that's it for this video please if you like everything that i said if you have something to add on if you have a question or anything please do comment in the inbox below and tell me what you want to see next time guys yeah thank you for watching do give this video a thumbs up subscribe and see you in the next video bye